So, we reached to this character. The character originally I had no idea what the hell to do with. Yes, Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. I really wanted to talk, talk, talk about him because he, uh, him, him as a character for me, I was really just a bit eh about on what, what what to do. But as I, but as as year as like some time has passed. I'm thinking about like what to do with them. I still want him to hang out with Ed. Like one, like once after the Android arc, once it gets to the Devil arc, I do want to get um. I do I do want to get involved with Ed majorly. Like I want to see some teamwork with them because want it's the El El Elric brothers. Why not? Uh, Crimson World arc, Crimson World arc. I really when it comes to that character, Alphonse. It's a bit of a mixed bag because. But, but the thing is, Edward's goal is majorly on him throughout that arc. That is just what's going to ha happen by really ain't going to say, like, oh, is he going to be captured or is there anything like that? No, because throughout that arc, it is, it's been, just Ed's storyline in that is still, it's more, is majorly going to be involved with that. Because when, when, once of the devil arc, it's not really involved with their their uh, pre previous goal throughout Full Metal Al Al Alchemist was so a completely different goal uh, because of some problem of one of the other major characters, and y'all are gonna definitely see who for a, in a while. Just saying, guys. Just saying. Um, just I'm, I'm just saying, guys. I ain't gonna spoil anything, but it's gonna be quite a while before we get to that character. Yeah. Um, but Alphonse, um. And I do have a plan with him in the Dimension War, but again, I don't really want to spoil it. Like, I think Alphonse is a character that I really want to talk about. Uh, I mean, from what he's been established as, he's he's been established as a, he's still a kind-hearted guy. He's, he's, he's all, like, even with, with him getting his soul bonded into that suit of armor, like, that shit was just... Like bruh, like that shit was just wow, and I don't really know what else to really talk about. I mean, he's a really kind of hard, hard to met, you know, kind of hard to dude. Uh, later on in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, he he becomes like more of a badass. But, I mean, if you've seen the end of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you know, you you know, you know what the hell that dude did. I mean, bro, man. Uh, then again. In OG Full Alchemist, much later on, I think like in episode forty, he became like 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 the most important character in the whole series at that point because he literally because if y'all know what happened like by episode forty, that man literally had like became the most pivotal point of the entire story, hands down. I mean, literally almost everybody was. After this man, but I mean, literally, I mean, almost er everybody was uh, so because of what happened uh, with Scar and everything in OG Full Metal Al Al Alchemist. Which, by the way, if y'all if y'all forgot, we are in the middle in interdimensional. We are still in the OG Full Metal Alchemist canon. So, so again. No Brotherhood canon because I did not want to screw with the original story for 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 one. So I'm, I'm probably gonna get some. I would have probably gotten some backlash from that shit anyway. But anyway, uh, Alphonse. Really, what to really do with him? I really do want uh, Alphonse to do to eventually do you know grow as a character. I really I really want to do that because. Like a like body like we get uh with him and Ed back together eventually by the by the beginning of, of the devil arc, um him and I want to have I want him and Al to have I want I want I want him and Ed to actually to have you know more bonding moments you know to show that they actually miss each other because do you know how long it's gonna you know how long it's gonna be before like he really goes back or some shit because we still got it because we still got the sell stuff to really go and we only know like how long it's been or like what Alphonse, Rose, or Wayne Reed's even doing at, at this point at fucking Risen Bowl but because more likely they had they had it back there but 
I have no idea. It's so, and I would like them to, you know, have you know more bonding moments because you know they're, they're brothers, and, and I want to show that they actually miss each other, and then think, and then going on to their adventures to find, you know, you know, to find and figure out another, another way to get their bodies back. And since a a Edward has, you know, focused, you know, found out about the other, other dimensions, there could be another way that I, that I can actually do a philosopher's stone in their world. It's a possibility. So it would make it really cool to have them travel to the, to, to these other worlds, you know, the Bleach world, Sh the Shekugan no Shauna world, even, even the high school DxD world to even know like what the hell to do. I think they would go to the high school DxD world because more than likely next, because obviously the Devil arc is evolving around that. And to be and, and to be honest, when it comes to meeting up to this certain character before at at at, at reunites with Alphonse. There's more than likely a chance that yeah, Ed's gonna be like, okay, I'll go there because that seems like the most logical place to actually you know find a you know to at least do a philosopher's stone somewhat because if you don't know, it deal it deals with mat high school DxD deals with magic it, it it does so 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 you would think that they would deal you know have have the balance at least like have the power to at least make a philosopher's stone easier or at least some like that. So I so that's why I would think Edward have another reason to go to the high to the high school DxD world though, with Alphonse too as well. Just wanted to just wanna throw that out. Just just to let y'all know. But anyway Alphonse really isn't anything I really want to talk about him really. I mean I really do. Like, I, 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 like there's so much, but it's so plot heavy I really do not want to spoil it. Because, because the man is about is a pitiful is a pitiful part of the entire Full Metal Alchemist story. He's, so is Ed, and I do want them to continue on their journey and actually complete it by the end of the series, more than likely, or even in the middle of it, and they have to deal with this, this, this motherfucker by the end of it. You know, I, I has just some, you know. And here's and besides. Here's the thing, though. Alphonse, again, I don't really, really want to spoil anything, but I will say that there's going to be some moments. Some moments. That's all I'm really going to be saying for what I got planned. I mean, Alphonse, other than just being being like, like a bit of a side character, I still want to be like a major character and still a plot-heavy character like it was by the end. Or at least by, you know, at least like way it was in Full Metal Alchemist in, in general. I mean, he was already important, but by the time, you know, and you hit episode 4, 440, I think, mother, mother, motherfucker was on everybody's head list. I'm not joking. If y'all, if, like, again, if y'all saw, like, what happened to OG Full Metal Al Alchemist, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, but anyway, I really don't got really anything else to say about Alphonse. I really did want to talk to talk about him, because it's our other former Alchemist character we got to talk about, and he's a very pivotal part. And personally, he's also one of my favorite characters and former Alchemist. But I do want to keep the same Alphonse while still developing him throughout 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 the series. But I will say that by the time you know when Ed and Al are back on their track in the Crimson World arc and their journey to find a way to get their bodies back, shit's about to go down. That's all I'm saying. And. That's that, that, that's just all I'm saying right there. Shit's about to go down. But plus, there's gonna be so many storylines with that arc because plus there's gonna be like a lot of separate, separate storylines in that arc, and I really do not want to get. The, I really don't want to be like messy where we transition from this to that each and every episode. I really do not want to become a mess. I really don't. But when it comes to a show or something like that, it can easily be done because you got so many characters all at once, it can literally drag out with an episode of what the hell to do with them. So, so it's really that because we, because we got Shauna's story in that, we got Edward's story in that, uh, we got Ichigo's story in that, we got Goku's story in that, like there's going to be so many storylines with, with, all, with all those characters. It's going to be like, holy shit dude. Like, we got, like, I'm telling y'all, there's going to be so much shit happening in the Crimson World arc, it's going to be fucking insane. But, uh, and, and even these storylines will, will combine together. Like, I really, I really, like, this is one of the reasons why I like, you know, shows like, like I say, Game of Thrones. 
because they do combine storylines of what's going on at the same time. Like there's some storylines going on with here, but there are some characters that are involved in another storyline that do combine together, that do that do come together, and they ended up doing this and that, and even interacting because of that. I really, I really love shows like that that just combine storylines, gets them together somehow, and just boom. I think that, I think that was one of my favorite. Uh, one of the reasons why I love seasons like, you know, I think was, uh, what was it, season four of The Walking Dead, um, because in that, uh, in, in season four of The Walking Dead, uh, I fucking loved that season, because there was so many characters that they, because the characters, like, at least, like, like by the second half of that, of, of that season, there was, man, they, like, there were so many stories uh, you know, all these characters going going through all this, like Tyrese, Carol, and Rick, uh, Michonne, Carl, like, don't, like, see, like, the second half of season four was, like, one of the reasons why I, I actually loved it, like, so much, because you got all these characters, and some of them do reunite, some of them do happen, like, most of them, I, I don't know, I just like seeing that, then all of a sudden they come back to, together by, like, season four finale and stuff. All that, all that good stuff. I just love shows like that. No idea why, but I really like to combine that shit. Like I said, Crimson World Arc is gonna, gonna be crazy, crazy as fuck. But anyway, I know I was way off topic, but I'm, I'm just saying, guys, it's gonna get lit. Al Alphonse, though, I do want to change his character. I really want him to be mature by the end of the series. Uh, because he's still a kind-hearted guy, but he's but the thing is he's already endured so much in OG Full Metal Alchemist. And the thing is, the only difference that he hasn't really witnessed in the old in, in the old, old three series, which spoiler alert, spoiler alert, skip this right now. He didn't see Ed, Ed, Edward die in old, in Full Metal Alchemist 03. He didn't see him die, so it would make a lot of sense to. So he hasn't witnessed anybody really dying at, at all yet. I mean, he's, I mean, someone like really close to him dying, like, like someone like Ed Edward dying. He hasn't really hasn't really witnessed that, but he's still like he's still some of the same character. He's been through so much in O three Full Al 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 Alchemist, but witnessing death on, on someone else, like it's like someone like close to him or someone like that. I would really like him to like mature from that shit, but. I, I, I don't know. Like, like I said, I really, I really do want uh, Alphonse to mature, but again, I really do want to get into that because it's very spoiler heavy. Anyway, I think it's really all I can really say about Al, uh, Al, Alphonse Elric. Like, I, I don't really know. Like, I really don't know what to do with him. Uh, other than you know him and Al, you know him, him and Ed hanging out, being bros, keep watching each other's back. Getting some character development, especially much later on, coming a pivotal point in, in the Crimson World arc. I like I, again. I just that is just really all I really want to do with him. He's I know it kind of makes him throw off like as a still a major character, but kind of like a side character. It's like it's like it's like it's like a, there's like it's like a borderline there. But I still want to keep him involved, just as involved as everyone else, because, again, he's such a pivotal point in the Fullmetal Alchemist story, and I do not want to waste him. I don't. He's a pivotal point in also Ed Edward's life, who is all, who Edward is basically the main, 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 main protagonist of, of the story. So, so, yeah. All, other than that, that's all I really got to say, so I do hope you guys did someone enjoy this, uh, in, in, in our discussion. Like, if y'all enjoy, subscribe, y'all see more, comment below what y'all think. And if y'all new to the channel, y'all want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see y'all in, in the next one. In the next one, we're going to be talking about. Oh boy. We are talking about this man. My man, Gohan.